Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe. How to read auras, what is the meaning of each color? All living things that need oxygen to survive have an aura. They generate a large magnetic energy field that can be sensed, felt and even seen around the physical body. We all can tell when someone doesn't feel good to us, like they are full of anger or if they really live in their heart and feel deeply. You do not need to be psychic to feel, read an aura. If a person walks past, very close to you, they may unintentionally steal some of your energy. If someone suddenly reaches out and grabs your arm, they are interrupting the flow of energy around your body. An example of this might be a time when you were talking to someone and you thought they were standing too close to you. You may have even thought to yourself, they're in my space, and then you backed away. Even this slight intrusion into your aura or space can interrupt your personal flow of energy and you may feel like you have been slimed. An aura is usually three feet from your physical body. However an incest or rape survivor has an aura about 50 feet around them, which means in a movie theater or a bus, train you sit in their stuff. I can clean this for you. Auras are commonly associated with people. Sometimes we even use them to describe people, he has an aura about him, or, she just has a glow about her. But in fact all living things generate this less than imgsrc equals http colon slash slash www.in5d.com slash images slash srthshgf.jpg alt equals explanations of the color in any aura width equals 500 height equals 410 align equals left greater than field of energy. When associated to a person, the aura can provide insight into the spiritual, emotional and physical aspects of the individual. Life is full of color and like so many other things on your path. Color also has meaning. They are representations of messages from your higher self, God, dreams, whatever the label. But you don't have to be a metaphysician to understand the importance of color in your life. It exists in everyday experiences. Many people associate the color white with God. Pink with love and purple with royalty or spirituality. The following is a brief outline of primary colors and their common interpretation. To cleanse your aura, sage, incense. Sweet grass and Florida water, I sell the products on my other site www.marethangems.com Explanations of the color in any aura. Red aura. What are red auras and what does it mean to have red as one of the dominant colors of the aura? The aura color that surrounds an individual reflects their personality and point to their future destiny. Red aura people are enthusiastic and energetic individuals. Forever on the lookout for new adventures. They are adventurous with food, travel and sexual partners. The mantra of the red aura color individual is, I'll try anything once, because of their devil-may-care approach to life they often find themselves in hot water. Red aura people are quick to anger and can lose their temper over the slightest thing. But on the upside they are generous with their time and energy when called upon for help. They are normally strong in body and mind and do not succumb to physical or mental illness easily. Because of their robust health and fitness the red aura individual likes to be physical and will excel in sports. People with a predominant red aura color can easily become bored and need to move on to different interests, projects and relationships. Because then they leave lots of unfinished ventures in their wake. But if they set their mind to a project and can stick to it, they will have remarkable success and can become extremely wealthy. Red aura people are direct, to the point and forthright and are not afraid to make their point of view heard. 
They don't normally have hidden agendas or ulterior motives. What you see is what you get with the open and upfront red aura individual. Above all else, the red aura individual needs to be number one. Their competitive nature and need to succeed will drive them towards great success in life. They are not good team players and won't take orders from others. Because then they will prefer to run their own one man business or be in positions of authority over others. Yellow Aura. What are yellow auras and what does it mean to have yellow as one of the dominant colors of the aura? The aura colors that surround an individual reflect their personality and point to their future destiny. Yellow aura people are analytical, logical, and very intelligent. They tend to excel in careers that involve teaching and study and make excellent inventors and scientists. They can have a tendency to work too hard and can easily become a workaholic, putting their work above personal relationships. Yellow Aura people are perfectly happy in their own company and do not suffer loneliness. They are prone to mental health pressures, though, and can become withdrawn and depressed when stressed. The Yellow Aura individual is a brilliant communicator and can display their skills on a one to one basis and in front of large crowds. They are confident in their abilities to get their ideas and messages across and will inspire others. Yellow Aura people have very good observation skills and can read people easily. They possess extremely good perception. Because they do not suffer fools gladly and will choose their few friends carefully. Any friends they do have will need to match the yellow aura person's wit and intellect. The yellow aura individual tends to put their head above their heart when faced with difficult choices and decision making. They are unorthodox and unconventional thinkers and not afraid to experiment with different ideas and original concepts. To some, the yellow aura seems a little eccentric with unusual interests and hobbies. They are attracted to anything which is considered avant garde, intellectual, or unusual. The main fault of a person who has a predominant yellow aura is that they can be overly critical of themselves and others. Pink aura. What are pink auras and what does it mean to have pink as one of the dominant colors of the aura? The aura colors that surround an individual usually can reflect their personality and point to their future destiny. Pink aura people are by nature loving and giving. They love to be loved too. They gather around them close friends and family at every opportunity. They like to host family events and are very generous of their time. They have a high regard for their health and will look after their bodies with good diet, nutrition, and exercise. Pink aura people are very romantic and once they have found their soulmate, will stay faithful, loving, and loyal for life. The pink aura individual is a natural healer, highly sensitive to the needs of others, and has strong psychic abilities. They also have very creative ideas and strong imaginations. Because these personality traits, the pink aura person makes great writers of novels, poetry, or song lyrics. The pink aura individual hates injustice, poverty, and conflicts. They strive always to make the world a better place and will make personal sacrifices in the pursuit of this ideal. Pink aura people are strong willed and highly disciplined and will expect high standards from others. They have strong values and morals and seldom deviate from them. Because of their honesty and likable nature, they are valued as employees but also make excellent employers because of their sense of fairness. Green aura. Green aura people are highly creative and very hard working. They strive for perfection in everything they do. They have a very determined and down to earth nature and will not allow fanciful dreams and unrealistic ideas to color their world. Their creativity takes the form of practical matters such as gardening, cooking, and home decorating. The green aura individual has a fine eye for beauty and will ensure their appearance and clothing. 
Home and surroundings are both practical and beautiful. Green Aura people tend to be very popular, admired and respected. They make for very successful business people and can create much wealth and prosperity for themselves. Green Aura people like security, stability and balance in their lives. Any plans they make are well thought out and because this, they seldom make rash mistakes. Close friends of Green Aura people will be treated to generosity, loyalty and practical advice. Green Aura people do not suffer fools gladly and choose their friends very carefully. People with a predominant Green Aura tend to be rather health conscious and ensure their diet is nutritious. Health giving and tasty. They are always in tune with nature and love the great outdoors. Orange Aura. Orange Aura people are gregarious, generous, social souls. They love to be in the company of others and don't mind being the center of attention or just another face in the crowd. They want to please others and are often the best gift givers. Being very thoughtful and generous. The Orange Aura individual is normally good-hearted, kind and honest. They are very in tune to the emotions of others and can sense and feel their pain and joy. Orange Aura people can be very charming, but part of their charm is in their sensitivity to others. They have the ability to make everyone feel at ease in their company. The Orange Aura individual can be hot-headed and quick to lose their temper. But on the positive side they are equally quick to forgive and forget if a sincere apology is offered and accepted. They do not hold grudges. Orange Aura people are confident of the impression they make on others and can use this to their advantage. They tend to lead very successful and happy lives. On the downside Orange Aura people tend to be impatient and tend to rush into projects, relationships and experiences too quickly. They normally need to act immediately and consider the consequences later. Purple Aura Purple Aura people are highly psychic, attuned to the emotions and moods of others and very sensitive. People who have a predominant amount of purple in their aura are seen as mysterious and secretive. The Purple Aura individual possesses a philosophical, inquiring and intuitive mind. They love to learn and never stop exploring and inquiring into new subjects and areas that interest them. Because this they tend to be extremely interesting and knowledgeable people. The Purple Aura individual does not have a wide circle of many friends. But the friends they do have are held close and are respected, admired and loved. People with a predominant Purple Aura tend to be unlucky in love but once they have found their perfect soulmate is loyal and loving for life. Purple Aura people connect well with animals and nature. They are attuned to animals and can sense their emotions and feelings. Purple Aura people tend to take in and care for strays as their loving and caring nature makes it difficult for them to turn strays away. Blue Aura Having a predominant blue aura or energy field surrounding you can point to a number of personality traits. Totally blue auras are quite rare but can show up as one of the boldest aura colors in people with strong personalities. Blue aura people are the master communicators of the world. They have the ability to convey their thoughts, ideas, views and concepts eloquently and charismatically. They make for excellent writers, poets and politicians. Blue Aura people are also highly intelligent and very intuitive. They certainly have the head and heart balanced in making difficult decisions and choices. They are incredibly good organizers and can motivate and inspire others. People who have a predominant amount of blue in their auras are peacemakers and have the ability to calmly smooth out angry situations. They prize truthfulness, direct communication and clarity in all their relationships. The downside of the Blue Aura personality is that they can take on too much, become workaholics and neglect their personal relationships. Gold Aura 
Gold Aura people are lovers of beauty and have a very artistic flair. They appreciate the finer things in life and like to adorn themselves and their homes with items of exquisite beauty. They love to entertain and prefer the company of many. They do not feel intimated by being the center of attention, just the opposite in fact as they like to be the sparkling gem in a stunning crown. The Gold Aura individuals are very attractive and love to attract attention, affection and admiration from lots of people. Because this the Gold Aura person will have many, many friends. But they are not just takers of time, affection and attention, the Gold Aura individual will give of their time, energy and love generously. The charm and charisma displayed by the Gold Aura personality adds to their attractiveness. They are great listeners and can make anyone feel comfortable, important and interesting in their company. Gold Aura people hate to be criticized and cannot stand any of their flaws exposed. Their main flaw is that of being overly lavish. They like to impress and give the most generous gifts and host the most impressive social gatherings, even if their budget won't allow this. They are very proud and fiercely independent and extremely reluctant to ask for help from anyone. White Aura or Silver Aura Silver Aura people are exceptionally gifted. How they use their gifts wisely is their life lesson. Silver Aura individuals are bestowed with sensitivity, intuitiveness, psychic ability and practicality. They can use their spiritual understanding in very practical ways. Because this they can relate to many people and are often found in teaching, mentoring or counseling careers. Silver Aura people have immense versatility and adaptability and are capable of getting the most out of virtually every opportunity in life. Their high intellect enables them to make the right decisions quickly and follow through with action. People who have predominant Silver Auras are seen as very attractive. They attract many admirers. But Silver Aura people are very discerning and choose their friends carefully and their lovers very carefully. Silver Aura people tend to be well blessed in looks, personality and talent and as such are seen as incredibly lucky people. Success seems to come easily to Silver Aura people. Brown Aura, light brown indicates confusion or discouragement. The lack of confidence in one's self, the present situation or in the subject being addressed. Dark brown indicates selfishness, fault finding, and a tendency toward deception. Black aura indicates hatred, negativity, major illness or depression, cheap, miserly. This color is always a bad sign. Learn how to see your aura. By Greg Prescott. Stand or sit several feet away from a mirror. Make sure you have a solid, light-colored background behind you. Look at yourself in the mirror. Focus your attention at an outlining spot on your body. I focus on the area between my neck and shoulders. At first, you might see a thin white or transparent image around your body. This white or transparent image will appear as a nearly clear form of energy, but you'll definitely see it. Remain focused. Eventually that white or transparent image will expand and will become a noticeable color, on me it's a thin yellow outline of my body. At this point, you're seeing something that your mind isn't used to seeing, which triggers your brain to start thinking, and the aura disappears. It'll come back quickly and will disappear just as quickly as soon as you think about what you're seeing. If you can remain focused, your aura will glow brightly. Mine will go from green to blue. Depending on the day but for the most part, it's green. How to see your outer aura. If you can remain focused long enough on your inner aura, you'll find that it will expand in waves showing an outer aura perhaps coming in a little closer but gradually going out further away from your body and enveloping other colors. At this point, I see a purplish color, but once if I don't maintain focus, then 
I'll lose both the outer and inner aura quickly when the aura expands. The easiest way for me to see my aura is by using what I call the magic eye method. This is something I came up with when I meditate into a mirror and applied this theory to seeing my aura. When you view a magic eye picture long enough, another 3D picture emerges from the original picture. Eventually, you can train yourself to focus out of your non-dominant eye, in my case. My left eye, which triggers a different visual brain reaction in your ability to see three-dimensional figures, and subsequently, your aura, within these pictures. Use this same type of unconventional viewing when trying to see your aura. Stay focused, yet don't think, about what you're seeing. See how far you can extend your aura. Try doing this on other people or animals or even trees and plants. If you haven't already, please subscribe to in 5D YouTube videos. If you have an amazing 5D article you would like published on in 5D, send your article to my article at in5d.com. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to in 5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to in5d.